For my first video log, um, my interviewer and I went to the dairy store and we had ice cream there on a Sunday and it's when it was really freezing out, one of those cold days, kind of different from how it is now. But um, And after we came back to my dorm and then we watched The Bachelor too. Um, and I really loved this first encounter because it gave me a chance to step out of my comfort zone and even have the girl I've been meeting with step out of her comfort zone too, which is the whole point of this project, I think. Um, so after taking the role of the host and, you know, choosing where I wanted to go that I was more comfortable with, uh, I was really excited to have someone else figure out what to do because I was, it was intimidating trying to come up with something that I didn't know if she would like and, or what she would think of me when doing that. So it was kind of fun to tell her to do, to choose something that she was passionate about or that she was comfortable with doing too. Uh, when I told her this time that she got to choose what she wanted to do, I could tell she was definitely a little worried and a little nervous, which is what I felt too, you know, when I found out I had to figure out something that I wanted to do, um, which is normal. I mean, obviously, we still don't know each other perfectly, but we're getting along well, which is really cool, I think, because of this project. Um, and it's really hard to open up with something that you're not comfortable with or that you're something that you are comfortable with, but not knowing if someone else is comfortable with doing that, which obviously I probably wouldn't be, you know, because I'm comfortable with my own things, um, or what they will think of it too, if they will like it. And it was cool, like, the second time her taking the role of the host because I already knew what it felt like to be that way, so I knew, like, how she, if she would feel intimidated or anything like that too. Um, so before spring break, I told her that to come up with something that we could do together and – and that this time that it was something that she was more comfortable with. Um, so I thought it would be better for her if she knew before spring break, so then we could try and do something right after spring break so that I'd be ready for to talk about what happened. Um, so right after spring break this past Monday, when it was gorgeous outside, um, she thought that it would be a good idea for us to go to her orchestra's practice. So for me... It was very similar to, for her to come back to my room when we watched The Bachelor because I am someone who does not dance at all. I'm definitely not a dancer. So I was definitely nervous and uncomfortable. But obviously I was like, yeah, you know, like, let's do that. But inside I was like, eh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> um, but, like, for me, you know, I'm not a dancer. I was never involved in dancing heavily. So I was definitely shy and timid to go about and doing that. But I thought, you know, she may have felt going to do something that was more comfortable um, was definitely something that I needed to be open up to doing. Because she was very, she, first of all, she's very open to doing, being part of this project, which I think is something you have to, it's a milestone to get past too. Um, so I could, I could do this, you know. Uh, you could definitely say I was nervous going into the interaction, but and having her take the role of the host. Um, but but during it, um, the time that we did go to her orchestra's practice, I found it really, really cool to see that not only something that she was accustomed to doing and she was comfortable to do, but also something that she liked to do because it was really interesting to see the way that she interacted with the people that she knew there, Her because those are her friends there, um, compared to how she acted towards my friends you know it was more kind of like standoffish and you know she was still nice and everything but it you know people act differently around people that they're friends with or they're more comfortable with too so it was cool to see her almost in her own zone you know compared to how she acted around me and my friends um and this time I was the one acting more timid so I was you know we did kind of like a flip-flop there but the most interesting part of the experience was definitely seeing how she interacted with her friends and how comfortable and in her element she really was. Uh, I even talked to some of her friends right after, it was right after they were done practicing, like getting a water break or something, and even at the end. Um, and they were asking about the project, you know, like, how come you're here? What are you doing? And they thought it was really cool. But, I mean, I thought the coolest thing was that we could, I, I could actually talk to them, you know, and it, it's people that I would never meet once again if it weren't for this project. And I think it's really cool being able to share something and actually getting along with someone, even though you may not think you have similar interests as them. Um, and after we went to her dance practice, we decided to go out to eat to Cozy. And it was so nice on this past Monday, so we just walked over there. Um, and we talked some more about, like, how we did when I went to the dairy store, except this time, 
instead of her kind of comparing herself to me, because I talked more about like why I was at, why I thought it would be good to go to the dairy store and that kind of thing. It was me comparing myself to her because I got to hear more about her. Um, I learned that she was always really heavily involved in dance in her whole life and many other, you know, the countless other activities that she's in. And I talked to her. I was active in high school, too. So it was cool that we had similarities like that again that I found out. But, you know, overall, with this experience this past Monday, I, I thought it was really cool because it forced me more to step out of my comfort zone when this whole time she's been having to step out of her comfort zone more. I mean, it, it's kind of both ways, but definitely more of me stepping out of my comfort zone this time. And I just, I just think it's so cool that I'm getting to know someone that I wouldn't get to know if it weren't for this project. Um, cause there's, like I said it before in my other one, there's so many people, so many gosh darn people at Michigan state and you, you know, you only find people in clubs or things that you have similar interests in, but you know, just cause you don't, have necessarily completely like similar interests and like mesh together doesn't mean you can't get along with someone and I think that's really important for people to know that you know because so many people are so so quick to judge people that aren't just like them and I think that's something that I'm really getting out of this project um so I'm really excited for the next encounter too and even for the rest of this year because I've definitely gained a friend from this project and it, it weren't if it weren't for this global learning project I wouldn't have made a new friend, and I think that's really cool.